Hi there, welcome everyone. My name is Paulina and uh, on this video I will share with you some details about how can we think uh, that Startup Accelerator can manage uh, their work in Fibre. So uh, why do we have overall this video in this template? So um, some uh, details on that. Uh, if you're a Startup Accelerator, you can um, partnership with Fibre. And in this case, all the startups uh, that you're cooperating with will have uh, a one year uh, for free of Fibre usage. So one year for free for your startups. But by the way, it's a common, I would say, um, it's a common uh, suggestion, a common form. This um, pricing is for every startup uh, that gains less money than Fibre does but as a bonus after the first year of usage uh, the accelerator startups will also have a 50 percent discount if they haven't reached a uh, round day so this seems to be a pretty fair deal but we also think was thinking that maybe uh, startup accelerators also can find some value in Fibre for managing their processes uh, because from what we know, uh, most of processes are handled in spreadsheets, in Excel, and can be a little bit cluttered and chaotic. And let's see what we can do to better structure that. So we are right now on the workspace map page. And here we can see which kind of processes do we cover with this template. So need to mention that Fiverr is a no code, so you can adapt this template uh, to the needs. You can just cut whatever you don't need. And um, here we have three main processes, strategy, CRM, and fundraising. Uh, we will go through them one by one, but overall, there are some uh, objectives that you as accelerator plan to reach. For example, I don't know, have uh, 50 startups um, in three months and board it. Um, I don't know, sign a, part, sign a partnership contract with uh, 10 investors uh, in a month, so whatever it is. And also, you may set some startup goals for your uh, newly joined startups. This is an optional part. It depends only whether you have uh, such a program or not. But let's say for the startup, they have, I don't know, 10 goals. Uh, and they have to sign the agreement. They have to hire uh, a team. I don't know. Those goals will be up to you. Uh, and the strategy is connected to the CRM. So you collect and have a CRM of all the startups that you have. You can plan meetings with them. You can have a tasks about a specific startup. And you also have a kind of a partnership, a okay, fundraising uh, space as well, where you track list of the investors uh, you have in your uh, investors CRM. And you can also track which of the round series currently are in process regarding your startups. So if you feel that this structure is close to how you operate, then probably I can go further. So here in the overview, you'll find this video and also when you install the template, I mean, and let's start from the strategy. So there are two types of goals that you can set objectives for your business and goals for startups you work with. So here in this document, this briefly explain the concept that we used and let's navigate to the strategy space. Yeah, so spaces in the left menu, they usually represent the process that you have and those two tables, aka databases, they represent a kind of the data you're going to work with. So we have an objective. Right now we have collect 58 startups in three months, uh, close runs for 10 startups, sign partnership program with five new investing funds. And there are some fields, aka attributes, aka columns, whatever you call it. This is what you have to know about this objective. So the final result, how we ended up with it, they are custom. Uh, right now I set them as a planet in progress, achieved and failed, but you can put yours. Um, there is a duration, okay, dates. When did you uh, plan to achieve those objectives? Um, like quarter, whatever. Assignees who is responsible from your team for this objective. This can be like many, uh, this can be multiple users. And there is also a field that is called target. I think we can drag and drop it here. So our target was five. Final result that you fill in uh, when the date uh, is close to the deadline is here. And there is a formula that uh, calculates the progress here. So we wanted five, we added two. So the progress is 40% only, we treat it as a fail. So Fibre uses a uh, syntax very similar to what Excel does. Sorry, 
I just misclicked. Yep, so we just final result divide by target multiply by 100. That's very basic programming language. You've probably used the same, yeah, again in Excel and Google Spreadsheets. And I think this can be kind of powerful as well. And there are also startup goals. Again, this is uh, very uh, like it's up to you whether you want to keep it, whether you have goals for startups or not. If not, then feel free to delete this database here. Or if you do, here you can set a goal, personal goal for every startup. So for mind made startup, goal is hire a Simeo and the state is closed. Again, you can change the state names. You can also add short description and raise round uh, is running for this startup. So every startup have their goals and you have a common table to see all the goals for all the startups. We will uh, now go to the visualization part. And here you decide which kind of information they want to have, but those tables are very limited. I mean, in terms of UI, because they're very configure, uh, they're about configuration. And here, by the way, you can manage access because maybe not everyone in your company won't uh, need to see a high level, I don't know, strategy. So with this share button, uh, you can configure uh, the access. Um, and then we go to this uh, board, which is called objectives by state. Here you see all the objectives you have at the moment by the state. You see the target, the who is responsible for that, the dates. You can decide which fields that objective has you want to see on the card. You can customize the UI, like making them smaller but large just looks very nice. And that is what is very cool. Um, in every objective, you have a personal dashboard, I would say. So uh, you open the card of the objective and you see a board of all the startups that you have in the moment. You also have access to the report and uh, you can decide how the document inside will be. So any moment you can open an objective and it will be a document with all the fancy markdown. And uh, you can also comment like here, uh, add the links, whatever you prefer, and see all the aggregated uh, data uh, about the specific objective progress. Um, okay, what else do we have? We have startup startup goals. <laughs> so here we see a list of our startups under them. We see the goals and we see the uh, states as well. Later, we can filter and see only unreached startup goals. Uh, but uh, again, this depends on how many startups uh, do you have. So you can open a start uh, card, see all their goals, tasks, run series, mean uh, weeklies. But this is what we will pause a bit later on the CRM part. And this is the board, very similar to what we had with objectives, but this is with startup startup goals board, where we just see all the goals that has our startup to reach. How do you know whether the startup reached a goal? Probably you have that on a meeting, a quarterly one, yearly one, I don't know, email, whatever. So this is about the strategy. Now granularity is only on the objective and goals levels. Okay, let's go to the second part about CRM. So there is also a quick document what you can do with a CRM that we uh, configured. First, you collect new startups. Uh, you can use it. Uh, you can use our forms. So we have a form view. You can figure a form. You start. A, um, you, you can publish or embed this form on your website. So when any startup uh, leaves their uh, application, this application appears automatically in your uh, table. Uh, you can even set some custom notifications. So when you start up appears, uh, someone is getting notified. You can configure that in Slack, email, whichever tool you use. And uh, then you probably will have a process. I don't know, contact them, um, ask them about something, a schedule introduction meeting. Uh, so you can do this with automations. For example, like when new startup uh, applied, notify me, uh, schedule uh, a meeting and set a tasks that I have to do. Uh, or you can make, uh, you can schedule tasks, for example, only when a uh, startup is approved. So, yep, in our CRM, we have list of startups, capability to uh, collect them with a form, a uh, list of the meetings and tasks to be done. So it's a mix of CRM and execution. Let's go and see how it looks like. So yeah, we have a, a table of startups with a short description. I promise all of them were generated uh, with AI uh, for this uh, template. None of them exist. 
uh, again here you can uh, set your own uh, states, the website, contact email, a responsible manager that is someone from your side who has to be responsible for this startup if you need it, if not, just delete it. Uh, then you will be also able to see all the tasks have to be done, run series in the future. If you're like already working with them actively, you'll be able to see which rounds have they closed, which goals do they have, the meetings and files, uh, like probably this is uh, something. I don't know, maybe they send some documents, the pitch desk, whatever. And there are also like some date fields, joint date when they joined uh, our accelerator, when they were approved, this uh, date is set automatically with the automation and left the date if they um, started cooperating with you or maybe when something went wrong. Why? Because later we'll have a fancy analytics, uh, show me how many new startups do we have every month uh, by the date uh, when they joined. And uh, when you open, maybe this one is empty. Yeah. When, if you open MindMate, let's say, yeah, inside you see some um, attributes of this uh, startup. Uh, you see their goals and you see their tasks and you can switch, let's say, to the board. I think let's make a board a default one. Uh, meetings can be, uh, for example, seen on the calendar. If you schedule meetings uh, with Google Calendar, we have integration. Uh, so you see that there is nothing planned for uh, November. Uh, they run series. Uh, you can make a report out of it. We'll see later how it works like. So you have a startup card and there you have all the aggregated information, everything about the startup uh, that you have to know. So there is also a form. Form looks like this. You can add description. So here it is named very in a very stupid way, startup application form. That's it. But you can make it look a little bit better. So you define how the field is called, the description of it. They can even upload the file. Uh, you manage the um, success message they see after they filled in the form. And there is share button. As you see, you can generate a link and this uh, form can be embedded to your website. You can share this uh, link directly uh, and uh, preview like this is how this form will look like uh, for your uh, startups after publishing on the website. So there is require this um, small uh, star means that this uh, for this field is a required one. So you can make them add important information and anything else is uh, optimal. Uh, so when they fill in this form, they appear in this table, which is called applied startups. We define whether this is a new startup by the filter, like show us only the one where star a state is applied and applied is the default state for new ones. So you can see uh, new ones here. You can uh, assign someone here like, okay, guys, and uh, you'll be responsible manager and you can even turn on the filter, show me only uh, applied startups that doesn't have a responsible manager. Um, then we have a board with all the startups uh, by the state. So I'm not sure, maybe when you have hundreds of them, uh, you don't need a board, maybe a grid view will work instead better or a table. So you may define that on your own uh, because you can create the views as well. So for example, I can create a new table. No, I don't like tables because they will be uh, removed soon. Instead, I'll use a grid view so we can create a new grid. What do I want to see here? I want to see here startups. Here are all the startups I have and now I can like choose what I want to see here as a column like that. And I delete the grid view, nothing happens to my data. Um, then we have our powerful reporting. <laughs> right now we only have like not that much. We see that we had only one startup that joined us in the April of 2021. Uh, but if I go, let's say to this guy, let's put joint date uh, today. And this uh, report refreshes automatically every uh, 60 minutes, but we want to push it. So as you see, uh, we track it by month and we see that a new one appeared in November. So if you add data frequently, you will be able to see, uh, to build such a report, how many startups applied, how many startups were approved every month, compare. Um, I don't know, even we have a public API, you can tie uh, these startups to UTM uh, tags, like where did they come from? How did they hear about the, your accelerator? 
Uh, so there are a lot of opportunities here. And there is also a task board. Uh, this is also if you want uh, to track some tasks regarding a startup, you can add a new ones here, assign the startup uh, and check what has to be done. And the same one that is called my tasks. Uh, this one where just the signees contains me. So this is probably for just an execution level. Uh, show me my tasks only. And last part is fundraising. So fundraising is about its combination about investors, CRM and finances. We attract round series if our uh, startups are looking for them. So uh, we collect investors. We can also do that, by the way, with a form, but I believe this is not how it works. Um, and you can track the, find, the funding. So if we go here, there is a investor database. See that we have investor type. Uh, again, the state, uh, some emails, the contact email, the one, the first one they contacted uh, us with. We also see round series. So we will be able on the investor level, see to which of the, our startups they invested already, how much money, uh, when did we sign the partnership agreement. And there is also another table with contacts. So contact is a bit one level uh, down because uh, for any, like if investor is a company, uh, then in this case, there can be, I don't know, like three contacts for a single investor uh, that are interested maybe in different domains. Um, so you can uh, track them separately if you want to. And round series, round is uh, connected, tied to the startup. Uh, we raise this round for, which there is a start date, there is a desired valuation, this is accepted valuation, uh, this is when the round was closed, this is also desired amount and raised amount because these are probably a bit different things, right? Um, and you can compare them, um, the state again, and who invested. And uh, this is just, again, the structure only. Uh, but we have uh, a board of all the investors we have in our list. We have investors map because investors can be like from uh, different countries and uh, map just is looking pretty fancy if it loads. <laughs> yep. So we can see where do we have uh, most of the contacts uh, from. Um, yep. Then we can track how many rounds are arising right now and what are our expectations? What's the reality? And uh, like why it is nice to have this information structured because later you can have reporting. So uh, you can see uh, how within, for example, second quarter, uh, the raised and desired amounts are different. The same goes for the valuation. We don't have here uh, information. This is why I chose an error. But when you add the data, it will show you something fancy. And uh, you can also have a new investors uh, report. So how many investors uh, have you signed a partnership contract with? So it's more like numerical data, like that we have, I don't know, five investors signed per quarter, just to compare that uh, within the time. Uh, this is probably it. If you have any questions uh, or you want to partnership with us or whatever, just don't hesitate to ping us with our email. Or you can also click here, chat with support. At the moment, there are no AI, uh, AI uh, bots or whatever, only real humans there. And in the description for this video, you'll find a template link. Uh, so that when you click uh, on this link, this template with all the explanatory videos will be installed. So we'll be waiting for your questions. We'll be glad if you think that uh, cooperating with us is a nice idea. Uh, this is it. Thank you. Bye-bye.